Hi everyone, this video will be mostly about networking on YouTube and uh, Reddit pages as well. So if you're already a member of a YouTube group, uh, put it in the comment section below and let us know what type of YouTube groups you're a member of and what you like best about them. And also uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Right, let's get on with it. Hello everybody, uh, today's video I'm going to be talking a little bit about networking, about Facebook, about Reddit and general things that really annoy me on Facebook. So my first thing that gets on my nerves is all these sub for sub posts on Facebook, you know? And all the posts you get, people advertising that they can give you uh, more subscribers, more views, more likes, if you give them money, blah, blah, blah. Do they actually work? I mean, I don't know if they actually work. Do people actually buy that? Do you, anyone actually go, oh yes, please, I would love to buy some more subscribers, here's my money. Now that I'm signed up to quite a few YouTube groups on Facebook, every morning my timeline now is just full of sub for sub or, or just random video posts. And to be honest, I haven't got time to sit there and watch all their videos. Do they actually work? Do people actually watch videos via Facebook? So that's one of the things that annoys me, you know, just constant video posts, constant sub for subs, constant, I can get you thousands of subscribers if you give me money, blah, blah, blah. And then last night I get another one, another, oh, really annoying, saying that my video views are fluctuating by thousands. Yesterday I had 7,000 views. The day before that it went minus 6,000 views. None of my videos have thousands of views. Um, then I realised what he was trying to do, he was trying to make me go to a website that gives you statistics about your views. You know, it took me about 45 seconds to realise this, and then obviously I called him out on it, tried to tell him my videos don't get that many amount of views, um, so I called him out on it, asked him for a screenshot, yeah, he sent me a screenshot, the, the stats just didn't make sense, I had no idea what they meant. Um, and then someone else posted on the same thing about, yeah, he's also uh, contacted her and tried to do the same thing with her, and it's all a lot of rubbish, you know, and I looked at his profile, He's like a kid, you know, he's probably about 12 years old, you know, and, and he's obviously read somewhere that, you know, this is the way to make money by you know, trying to lie to people. There's nothing worse than lying to people on Facebook. There's nothing worse than trying to lie to people to get views and likes and subscribers. It's, uh, it's probably the worst thing to do. So anyway. What I've done is I've created a new Facebook group. It's called YouTube Vlogger Videos. Um, and what I will be doing, will be banning anybody that posts sub for sub or buy thousands of subscribers or buy this, buy that. And we're banned within seconds. All right, it's no second chances. Post that sort of stuff, you're gone. My main aim for this group will be for people to actually comment and actually give constructive and honest opinions about videos. My ideal scenario is, if you're gonna post a video, great. But what I also wanna see, I wanna see people, I wanna, I wanna know that people are actually watching them. Uh, make a community of people that actually watch each other's videos. So if you're gonna post your video there, you know, to take the time to watch other people's videos, take the time to comment, take the time to interact with other YouTube users. Don't just go copy and paste your link and then off you go. You're probably members of, you know, 10, 20, 30 other YouTube groups, and that's all you do all day. I'm not actually sure it even works. I get most of my social media traffic via Reddit. Uh, Reddit is uh, very good, I think. If you can manage to post your videos to relevant Reddit groups, then you get much more views. I've, I found this out over the last like uh, four or five days. I recently done a video where I traveled to London, Victoria, and part of that video was a very, very short train journey montage. And what I, so what I did then, I just went onto Reddit and then searched for all the groups with trains or train journeys or train enthusiasts. <laughs> And then I just went onto YouTube, and then what I did was I found the part where I start the train journey, and then posted the link with that timestamp on it. So rather than people sitting through the first couple of minutes where I'm just doing this, really just talking, um, they're sent straight to the part where the train journey is. That is now my most viewed video um, because I posted it on relevant Reddit pages. Now, now that video is now my most viewed video. I also got some interaction on Reddit itself. So that's what I'm going to be doing much more of in the future is actually making relevant videos for relevant groups and then, you know, posting it on Reddit. I've actually got my own Reddit group. I think you might have seen me already posting this on other groups already. And so if you want to post your videos on my YouTube vlogger video Reddit page, find the link in the description. Find the link to my Facebook group in the description as well. Um, and let's grow that community of people actually taking the time to watch videos and network with other YouTube users, you know? Not just copy and paste, post and go. You know, let's really um, get some conversation going. That's the main thing. 
conversation, discussion, that'd be great. So if you're going to join my new group, you, know, you really need to actually participate in discussions and uh, conversations with other YouTubers. And I, I found that the best feedback I get is when I actually create a question or look for advice on these Facebook groups rather than just spamming my video links out there. But everyone's looking for traffic. I, you know, I'm not going to blame anybody. You know, I understand why people really want to push their videos out across Facebook because you know, there's billions of people there and potentially new subscribers so you have to take the rough of this move if you want to spam out your videos go for it what I'm saying is the more you can interact with other people the more you can actually discuss and have conversations with other people the more likely your name is going to be recognized every time you post so for instance if you're a notorious spammer uh, people are going to just go oh it's another spam post from don't blogs or whatever your name is but if you're actually going to be talking to other people you know people are going to be more interested in what you've got to say and to be honest it's a nice way of starting up new what I call online friendships with other people and I found that already because the new subscribers I've actually generated from Facebook are people that I've actually had conversations with I'm not just going on Facebook and saying you know please subscribe to my site I'm actually joining conversations and then people get to know who I am that's that's how I think I'm generating a few more subscribers every day just just by talking to people rather than spamming people. Facebook is all about conversation rather than spamming. Spamming is just a horrible word anyway, but. So if you're uh, looking for a new Facebook group, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed with the title of the group, you know, YouTube vlogger videos. Um, I was hoping to get something else, but I, I couldn't get another title that was available. So I just went with YouTube vlogger videos. It also ties in with my Reddit group that I've also made. My Reddit page is um, YouTube vlogger videos. Uh, Reddit.com slash r slash YouTube vlogger videos. To be honest, I get more traffic from that page than I do from Facebook. I think it's maybe because Reddit ranked higher on Google. So if you've got a really good Reddit page with lots of content, lots of links, I think that gets uh, ranked on Google much better than Facebook groups. I'm not an expert. I don't know if it's 100% sure, but my experience is I get a lot more hits, a lot more views just by posting um, a few links on Reddit. That works for me. I'm gonna be doing that a few more times. I need to come up with some few more ideas about what I can actually post on. Uh, what else can I waffle on about? Um, so just bear in mind that I'm not claiming to be an expert. I'm by no means an expert. It's just stuff that I picked up from experience over you know, in the last month or so. So any more hints and tips that I can pick up, you know, the idea is to share it with everybody else. Now it's time for a few shout outs. I've just started following a few more smaller YouTube video creators. So I thought it's about time I uh, gave them a little shout out. First one is Amber Howe. Her videos are all about beauty, fashion, and I can't read my own writing. Lifestyle, that's what that says. Um, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle vlogger. Number two, my shout out goes to Zara Mai. She describes herself as an average lady from Wales. Bah. Um, and she's just recording her life, I presume, so she can look back in 50 years time and remember what she looked like in the days of YouTube video creating. And number three is a shout out to Reese Powell, who describes himself as an inspiring filmmaker. Yeah, good luck with the filmmaking, Reese. All the best with that, mate. Uh, I've, I've watched one of your videos uh, in the past where you were talking about uh, creating the video yourself. So all the best with that, mate. That's, uh, that's a journey well worth taking. Okay, now it's time for the obvious. Please like my videos, please subscribe to my videos, and if you have anything to say to me, if you want to comment about my videos, then leave a comment below in the, you know, the comment section. Okay, that's it from me today. I'm hoping to get more videos up online very soon. All the best, guys. Cheerio.